and we have some amazing things to share with you right now. We are going into an amazing market. Did you hear the big news that Zillow has shut down buying houses? Well, it's about time. Can you imagine these idiots? Just think about it. They're going and buying $600,000 houses. They're closing on them, putting them right back out on the market for 650, 700,000. Somehow they think there's a greater fool out there than themselves for buying those houses at those prices. Well, maybe they've had success in some realms at some times in some markets, but Zillow, as much as they know about real estate, they don't know about real estate. <laughs> I'm going into my fifth real estate cycle. There are things that I have learned over the years. And one of the most important things is to get a good value. When you buy the property, you buy it right and you buy it cheap. You don't pay retail and then expect to, to survive that unless you have unlimited money as they do. And the money costs so little as they have. But right now they've decided, hey, hold on, put the brakes on. Maybe it wasn't such a wise thing. So they've got thousands of houses in inventory right now. My, what I've heard in the last few days is that they are slashing prices. They've stopped buying altogether. They're slashing prices. They're selling like crazy. Now, if you're a conspiracy theorist like me, <laughs> you, you can perceive that perhaps maybe what they're doing is creating a new market where they're going to drive prices down, 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 and then be able to come in and scoop up the houses at a windfall price. Well, maybe so. I don't know. But one thing I do know is that we have a way that we invest in real estate and it's a unique and powerful way that we do what we do. And it's important that you as real estate investors think through what's important and what's not important. Now in our world, one of the things we look at is we look at the market that we're in. We're always constantly carefully evaluating the market. And when we do buy a property, as we did last Friday, that's actually one of the wins of the week is that we did buy a property uh, last Friday that is for one of our buyers. Now I want you to get that key phrase right there. We already have a buyer. We already have someone. We know what they can afford. We know how much down payment they have. We know what they're looking for. We know the area they're looking for and we know what they can afford on a monthly basis. So as a result, we bought a house for them. Now I'm going in right now. We're going to be putting on a new roof tomorrow. We're doing some things to that house before they even see it. And then I'm going to bring them over. I already know what they're looking for. And, I think I have it. I think I have it. And here's what I know. Even if they say no, they don't like that house for whatever reason. Am I concerned? Not in the least. Why? Because I have other buyers. I have other buyers already. Now what I'm sharing with you is my house monster concept, housemonster.com. So what happens is that in our world, we teach you that the best thing you can do is to market and find buyers and use a script to determine exactly how much down payment they have, how much they can afford on a monthly basis, evaluate their credit, do some things in advance before you go about buying a property. Now this market I've been telling you now for months is getting ready to be topsy turvy, exciting, uh, interesting, and for some people scary. They're going to say, hold on, let me pull back these reins. I'm concerned that I might make a very big fat mistake and lose everything. Well, I learned that lesson back in 2008. And so when I had a dozen properties on the market and I couldn't sell them because the market changed and they just stopped financing. That's what they did. They just stopped financing. So I had to be very careful and cautious. And I turned and flipped my script on what to do and how to do it in real estate. And it worked out fantastic because now we find the buyer before we buy the real estate. So just keep that in mind as you're doing your business and know that today, one of the things I wanted to focus on in addition to the crazy market that we're in is also due diligence that we need to think about the, 
the due diligence that's necessary to be successful in real estate. <laughs>